Hello everyone, I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm the Nerd on the Street, and today we are making a form in LibreOffice Base. Okay everyone, so we've been working on a database in LibreOffice Base in this series, and so far we've looked at our database in one view, that would be the table view in every single video we've done so far. Now like I mentioned in my last video, table view is actually not the most optimal way to interact with your database. It's great for looking at a lot of data in just its raw form, but when you're putting in data, sometimes you make typos, sometimes you want the computer to format things for you, and really sometimes it's just nicer to look at your data in a format that's more human readable than just a table. Because a table, while it's extremely logical, is also pretty dense with information. So this is where forms come in. LibreOffice has a feature called forms and basically they let you make a form that you can put your data into to display your data one record at a time. And it can also do a lot more auto formatting for you and correction and things. And it makes it a little bit easier overall to input data into your database as well as reading it sometimes. So today we're going to take the table that we've been working on and we're going to build a form to interact with it. And it's going to be pretty easy, so let's just cut to the desktop. Alright, and here we are on the desktop, and we are going to go ahead and open up our database. Like I said, this is the same database that we've been working on, and if we go to our tables view, here you can see the table that we have been working with in the previous four videos. It opened up behind there, we'll just grab it, and if I wanted to add a seventh record right now, as you can see the first six records are here, if I wanted to add a seventh one, I could click here and just start typing in into this, uh, this last row in the table. But like my phone number here, for instance, I kind of messed that up, didn't type enough numbers. Now if I go and try and insert an area code here and then just go out of the cell there, this cell is broken now um, and it won't let me put in any information unless I just clear it out and start from scratch. Because like I said, the table, it's made for just raw data, uh, which normally you're going to be looking at data in that format, but you're not always inputting just raw data. Sometimes with things like phone numbers, you want to have a little bit more flexibility with how you input. So we're going to go ahead and close the table. Uh, and we are going to go to our forms section on the left here. And today we're going to use the wizard to create a form. Now we could create a form in design view and that's going to start us off with an empty form with nothing on it. What the wizard's going to do, all that it's going to do is ask us some questions about what we want on the form and it's going to give us a default layout for the form. But we will be able to go in and customize our form after we use the wizard to create it. So we're not locking ourselves into anything by using the wizard. We can still use design view later to customize it but it is much easier just getting started to use the wizard uh, to create the new form. So we will go ahead and click on that. It's going to ask us which table we want to create the form out of. Right now we only have one table and it's going to ask us which fields we want to include on our form. So if you only wanted to use this form for putting in names but not any information, you could just move the name field over. We're actually going to move all of the fields over, just click that double arrow uh, because we want our form to include all the information that we would see in the table. So moving on to the next screen, subforms we don't want to worry about quite yet. You can just click next and here it's going to ask us how we want to arrange our form. The default arrangement is actually just a table similar to our table view. We don't want that. We're going to take a look at these other three. They're the ones you're probably going to want to use to start out with. So this first one here is with labels on the left of each text box. The next one is labels on top of each text box. And then this one is a little bit more dynamic. It's going to have labels on top of each text box, but it's going to resize the text boxes. Uh, it's going to put some of them next to each other. And if it ran out of room here, it would wrap down to the next line. Today for our simple form, we're going to choose this label on the left just because it, it looks pretty nice. It's easy to read. So we will stick with that. You can also choose to line your labels up, align them on the right rather than the left so that they're all lined up right next to our text boxes and that actually looks nice so we'll do that. Clicking next we can also choose to only use this form for inputting new data if we don't want to use this to view existing data but only entering new records. Uh, we're not going to do that we're going to use this form to display all data and we'll also be able to add new records as well with that. 
Next up is the style. Over here on the right side, you can select the border for the text boxes, and I actually prefer the flat border. You can see there's the 3D border, then there's the flat border around the text boxes. I think the flat one looks a little bit better. And then we can select our color scheme. There's lots of different color schemes available here. We're going to choose bright blue for our color scheme. We'll click next, and it's going to ask us to name the form. We'll keep the default name, and we'll go ahead and start working with the form. So we'll click finish. It's going to open up our form here. And you can see this is the first record in my table. ID zero, Jacob Kaufman, my phone number, my date that I joined Nerd on the Street. So this is a single row of our table expanded to fill in an entire page worth of form data. So forms don't fit quite as much on the screen at the same time, but it is a bit easier to read. If we come down to the bottom of our screen here, we've got this arrow to move to our next record. We'll click that and here is row two of our table. It's our next name, the phone number, date joined and everything, uh, record three. Now a couple things you might be noticing. First of all, the phone number field, it is cut off because this text box is too small right now. All the data is there as you can see, but it doesn't all fit on the screen at once because that text box is too small. We'll fix that in just a second. Another thing you might notice is that the date that we formatted in our second LibreOffice based video to display in the date, month, year format, all spelled out and everything. It is not displaying that way in our form right now. It is back to the default United States month slash day slash year format. And we are going to fix that in a future video. We're not going to fix the date formatting in this video. It's not too difficult of a thing, but for this video, we're just talking about making a form so the only thing we're going to do right now, the only last thing we'll do in this video is fixing up this phone number box to include the entire phone number on the screen at the same time by making this box a little bit bigger. So we will go ahead and close out of this form and we are going to right click the form in our list of forms here and we'll click edit. This is going to open up design view. So like I said before, if you just create a form with design view, you'll get a blank canvas with nothing on it. But since we use the wizard, we get this default layout. Now we can go in and change things though. For instance, we're going to make our phone number field a little bit bigger. Now, if I first click on this phone number text box, you'll notice it selects both the text box and the label. These items are grouped together right now, which means that if I try to adjust the text box size, I'm gonna be adjusting the label size as well, which is gonna move text around. It's not gonna make the text box bigger, not as big as I wanted it to be. So we're actually not going to just drag that. Because these items are grouped together, if we want to affect just the text box and not the label, all we have to do is right click on either one of those, go to group, and we're going to click enter group. If we wanted to ungroup the items so that they don't select together anymore at all, we could click ungroup. We want them to stay in a group right now though, we just want to edit one of them without editing the other one. So we'll click enter group, and now we are editing just this group. So we can select just the phone number label or just the phone number text box. So we will grab that text box, we'll make it a little bit bigger. That should be good. And at this point, if we click outside of the group, we will exit out of that group again. Now, if we click on this, you can see we are selecting both again. The label and the text box are still grouped. We have just added the text box to be bigger. So now we'll go to file and save this form layout. We will exit out of that form layout and we will double click our form to open it again. And you can see we are back to our viewing our table in form view. Only our phone number text box has gotten a little bit wider so we can see the entire number now. And we can click through all of the records that we have so far. Additionally, if we do want to enter in a new record, I can do that here. So Kirsten Kaufman. And as you can see, our phone number formatting that we applied in the table will still take effect here with the, the area code and everything there. Now the date, like I said, we will not be able to enter in uh, like 25 February 2018, which is the day I'm recording this, that's not going to work. What it did right there is it pulled in the date of the previous entry, just as a default. So the date field will require more work, which we'll get into on our next video, but for now, we'll just enter in month slash date slash year. And that's actually not an accurate date for when Kirsten joined Nerd in the Street, but we'll fix that up in the next video as well. So now you can see we've got a new entry in our table. And if we go ahead and exit our form, it's going to ask if we want to save the current changes we've made. And in this case, the change would be adding in this record that we just added. We do want to save that, so we'll click yes. And if we go back to our table and view it in table view again, you can see we now have a seventh row. It says Kirsten Kaufman and it's got a phone number there. And the date formatted how we set it up to format in this table. 
So that's all there is to it in terms of making a simple form in LibreOffice. Of course, you can do a lot more with formatting and things, but for now, that's really all that we needed to look at here. In our next videos in this series, we will take a look at fixing the date formatting for our form view. And eventually we'll also get into building queries, but if there's anything you guys want to know how to do in LibreOffice Base, please feel free to leave a suggestion down in the comments below or ask in the forums at nerdonthestreet.com. For now though, that's everything we wanted to accomplish today, so we'll go ahead and save our form and exit out of it. And I'm Jacob Kaufman with Nerd on the Street. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.